all right guys so I got a, another product I want to try I'm uh, kind of big on trying budget oriented options uh, things like budget antennas budget motors things you break often and replace often um, I'm trying to find good stuff at low cost so we'll open it up here comes in the nice little DYS box fun sun budget cheapy <laughs> I tear up too much stuff to keep high dollar stuff. I can't afford to uh, pay $26.99 for a motor every time I destroy one because I crash. But nice little plastic packaging. That's the new design on the top. Single stranded wire. Still got the circlip, same bearing. But uh, looks made a little better than the previous version. I have been flying these uh, these DYS Sam Goop motors. I think that's how you pronounce it. But you can see it took a pretty nasty hit. The bell's all wobbly, uneven, bent, whatever. So on the previous one I've been running, if you look at the, the motor windings, they're they're multi-strand and they you know they don't look real great. I mean they work. This this motor's done really well for me. It's lasted months and months. Um, went through several crashes. Here is the uh, Sun Fun. If you can look, it's got the single stranded motor windings. It does kind of have a bit of an air gap. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to affect it, if it'll make it smoother or what, but the top's made a little different. I haven't really weighed them or threw them on the scales. Uh, I think I have some scales laying here. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and try to get a weight on it. Look over my workstation. It's a little messy. I've been trying to rebuild my drone. It is that uh, 33 grams, wires and all. Also, on the uh, new DYS um, Sun Fun, the newer motor, they're both, both these motors are 2306, 2500 kV. But this one has a single stranded winding, like I mentioned earlier. And if you look right here, where the screws mount uh, with a threaded part at the base of the motor, these are three millimeter, the new ones. The old DYS motors were two millimeter. So that's a millimeter thicker. That's definitely an improvement. You have a little bit more strength at the base where you tighten your screws down to hold it to the arm. And I'm sure that would keep from stripping out as easily or popping one completely off an arm easily. Um, so that's another difference I noticed. I'll get these motors soldered up on a quad, get in air, get some packs through it, probably crash it a little, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it turns out. All right,